So another update that we had for you that we just ran out of time, and probably you want to spend more time on this one too because it's uh, a horrifying story. And this is involving the Georgia shooters and taking the life of Ahmad Arbery. And you remember there, a lot of people were talking about the video that has really led to an indictment and for these men to be arrested, even though this was an incident that took place in February. Um, and then all the speculation started about the man who took a person, because we didn't even know if it was a man or a woman, who took the video that we all have now seen over and over again and are just uh, horrified by what we're seeing. Well, finally, this man is going to speak, and is going to speak for himself. Uh, he certainly is being investigated, as you could imagine. William Bryan uh, is his name, and he sat down to talk with, uh, we think, Fox 30? Yeah, C- CBS 47, Fox 30. So there's some comic combo there. How I don't can know. you have a combo? CBS well, I mean, some, some of them do. I, mean, yeah. There's, yeah. There's, okay. uh, yeah. I think it's Bridget Matter is who though. the reporter is um, that's going to bring us the story. All right, so here it is. Behind the disturbing viral video that broke the Ahmad Arbery case wide open is speaking out only to Action News Jax. On February 23rd, William Bryan, who goes by Roddy, recorded Ahmad Arbery running in the Satilla Shores neighborhood and the shooting that killed him. Bryan and his fiance sat down with me for about 45 minutes amid death threats that forced them out of their home. Are you scared? I. Uh, Yes, if I, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. I mean, if that's what they wanted to do was scare me, they've scared me. The Georgia Bureau of Investigations is investigating Brian to determine if he will also face charges. I truthfully need to be cleared of this because I had nothing to do with it. Um, I'm trying to get my life back to normal and it's been smeared for the last week. In the initial police report, Gregory McMichael told officers Arbery was running in one direction and, quote, Roddy attempted to block him, which was unsuccessful. Brian's attorney, Kevin Goff, would not allow his client to answer my questions about his involvement in the case, including how he ended up driving behind Arbery recording. Was your client trying to intercept Mr. Arbery? My client was responding to what he saw, which was someone in the community that he didn't know. Uh, being followed by a vehicle that he recognized. Goff says he was working on his front porch when he saw Arbery and the McMichaels go down his road. Some people who have seen the video asked if Brian was also armed because of a clicking sound you can hear. Goff says Brian was not armed. That video is the evidence of what took place that day. What happened after the video stopped is unknown. Brian stayed on scene and was cooperative with police. He did not call 911 and says he does not have a relationship with the McMichaels. Do you have a, anything to say to Ahmad's family? Yes, I'm very, very sorry for your loss. I, I don't know what else to say. I know there's nothing else I can say. I'm very sorry for your loss. Is that the, um, so he he's saying he's not involved. His 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 lawyer seems to say that he was he saw what was taking place and he got in his car because it was in his neighborhood and he wanted to see what was going on. I guess where I'm a little confused and 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 this didn't really answer it. If you were questioned by police at the scene, did you not let them know you had a video that you videotaped the whole thing? Why why are we just now seeing the video? There's just a lot of there's a lot of missing pieces to this, and that's why hopefully when a thorough investigation is done, we will know the evidence a lot better. But it's, uh, you know, there's there's people who obviously have agendas, uh, and we just got to be sure we get to the truth, the real truth backed up by evidence. Yeah, and, and, and we don't need to – everybody needs to settle. I thought, yeah. you know, he's saying he wasn't involved, but there's still, there's but still more questions. How come yesterday, maybe it was – falsely reported we were told he released it anonymously because he thought it would clear the guys yeah that story was out there i did read yeah, that it was yesterday. Yeah. because he thought he thought it showed that there was That's self-defense mm. yeah and that he did it anonymously at first and that he thought it showed that that they didn't you know that they were 
right. defending themselves. Now, I, that was reported. Now, no. what, now he doesn't sound like that when he's no. no. Both, with, both of, now that may be before he got that yeah. bowl haircut. I yeah, don't know. Right, right. There well, it is. Yeah, there's uh, waiting on that. Well, too. that's yeah. that's what happens when you you know in a in a pandemic. Right. Somebody, oh. somebody steps up to cut your hair. And right. Yeah. You you see that he finally he know he was going to be on. You TV. see he finally right. gave in and let somebody yeah. cut his hair. Yeah. Uh, whose expertise okay. involved involved the bowl? But let let me say this. <laughs> A colander. All, all, all of you, all of what you're saying is correct. However, you can kind of debunk that story yesterday because if his intention was to clear the McMoth, McMichael family, he would have said on the scene, I have the video. Oh, yeah. You make oh, a great sure. point. Yeah. He'd yeah. said he stayed on the scene right. and cooperated with the police, but video was never mentioned. So if the video was to clear them, wouldn't you have given it to the police right then and said, here's what you need to know. Here's what happened right here. Well, I, from what the story said, he, he was holding it, and then once the rumors got going and there was a disagreement about what happened, he thought he would put this out to set the record straight and clear them. But now— But when I'm watching it, I don't—you know, again, I don't see how they're arriving I, I, at that conclusion. I know? still don't understand how you don't give that video to the cops. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. They show yeah. Up. Yeah. 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 Guys, I got it right Minutes. Here. Guys, y'all ain't going to believe what I got right In here. full yeah. transparency, hey, you're investigating this. I have footage. Here yeah. it is. Oh, unless, when they're looking for witnesses, I go, boy, I got something better than witnesses. Unless, yeah. unless, unless, and we'll get to the end of it, he released it anonymously because he gave it to the police, and he's wondering why they never used it. That's why, possible. Why, why he's never seen it. Possible, yeah. Because uh, actually, wasn't it the one of the attorneys for the family that released it officially? That's what the report said of one of the stories we read. Yeah, it got confusing. <laughs> or I thought they, they thought it would exonerate. Do we him. leave this update of him I saying I wasn't involved in this in any way? That's what he's saying. And then his lawyer, all he gave us was he saw what was happening, so he got in his car to document it because he wasn't sure what was going on. It was in his neighborhood, right? Mm-hmm. Is that where we are today? But he didn't know that Mc, the McMichaels. That's what he says. Claims they're not. And what is it? So initial... why would he have gone and followed them if he didn't know who it was? Well, right. I guess in his neighborhood, he saw Runner. He knew the things about the break-ins. He saw people pursuing. And I guess he was trying to figure out, hey, what, what's going on here? I mean, I guess that's what, he's, that's what I took away. I'm with you. I think that's got some issues with it. But, uh, but Maybe look, he thought I, he was going to be ridiculed. By filming it but not doing anything about it, like Maybe. not going up there and yeah, I don't yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know if if I mean there's some questions you won't answer, but I don't know if that should really be the focus of all of this. But yeah, the focus is what's on the footage yeah. right. and the fact we've got somebody dead. <laughs>